In this video, we are going to see how to control this display with this mobile keypad. Here it is 4, 6, 7, 3 and we'll see this in the video. So let's get started. In the last video, we have seen about this IC MT8870. Now in this video, we are going to see how to connect 7 segment display with this. So it will be like mobile keypad control 7 segment display. In the last video, we have seen the previous part of this circuit means this part. Now we are going to see this connection. Okay, so with the pin number 15, we will connect an LED just to detect the pulse. It is 220 ohms and we know the A, it is pin 11, 12, 13 and 14. It is B, C and D. To drive 7 segment display, we need 7447 and here it is 7 segment display. If you are going to connect common anode display then you need 7447 and if you are going to connect common cathode display then you need 7448. I already discussed about these two IC link in the description below. So this is 7447 and this pin number 11 it will be connected to pin number 7 of this 12 to the pin number 1 13 to pin number 2 and pin number 14 to the pin number 6. Pin number 3, 4 and 16 these 3 are connected to the plus 5 volt and pin number 5 and 8 these 2 are connected to the ground. 7 segment display so it has 7 pin A, B, C, D, E, F, G and as it is common anode display so the common pin will be connected to plus 5 volt. And the pins are pin number 13, 12, 11, 10, 9 and it is 15 and 14. So these are the pin A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And one more thing, in between these two pin we have to connect 220 ohms resistor. It is 220 ohms. So this is the circuit diagram and for this circuit connection you have to watch the previous video. Link in the description below. Okay, so now we'll see the practical. In the last video, we have seen this connection up to this. Now, in this video, we need another breadboard. Here are IC7447 common anode display, and I'm removing these LEDs and also the 220 ohms resistor. As we need 220 ohms resistor, this all 7 resistor so here I'm putting all the 7 resistor these are 220 ohms as the display is common anode so the common pin is connected to the positive rail pin number 3 4 and 16 these 3 are connected to the positive rail pin number 5 and 8 these 2 are connected to the ground you can connect an LED with pin number 15 and if you don't want to connect then you can just leave the pin I'll connect an LED with pin number 15 as it is pin number 15 so I'll connect positive pin is connected with the resistor and negative is connected to the ground pin number 11 it is connected to pin number 7 12 to pin number 1 of 7447 pin number 13 is connected to pin number 2 and pin number 14 it is connected to pin number 6 of 7447. So this is the connection. Now we have to connect IC to the resistor and resistor to the display. Now I am connecting IC to the resistor. Here it is pin number 13 and it is connected to resistor A 12 to B. And like this I will connect them all. Now I am connecting resistor to the display. Here it is A and this pin is A this B and I already explained about this display link in the description below okay so this is how we have completed our connection in the last video we have already seen how to connect this mobile and now I'll call from this mobile 
from this mobile to this now I'm connecting 5 volt power supply here it is negative and the positive now I'm calling from this mobile to this and this mobile will receive the call automatically and I already shown you how to do this link in the description below okay now I'm calling it is automatically received now here is my keypad pressing 1 displaying 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and it is up to 9 only it will show because this 0 means it is 10 10 means it is A and as it is BCD to 7 segment display so it is not able to show the 10 or A it is invalid for this IC and this one and this one also so only from 1 to 9 it will show and 0 is not possible okay so this is how we can make mobile controlled display and we can make many project with this and we'll see this in future video so guys this is all for today thanks for watching